The next speaker is Ms. Melissa Mannon, followed by Mr. David Foran. Welcome. Good morning. I'm Melissa Mannon. I'm an Arlington resident, and I'm here to bring to your attention the redevelopment plans, specifically about the Education Center, but more specifically about IOTA's building. So we spoke with the developer, and we learned that um, the impact of this would remove about a quarter of their building. It would also substantially impact their business. They'd likely have to close for at least a year. And a lot of the, the patrons are very concerned about this because IOTA is an institution when it comes to culture, when it comes to music. Um, it's a unique venue that we really don't have in other ways. And so since this is so early in the process, we really wanted to bring to your attention that the community is very concerned about this. And we'd really like to preserve the institution that that IOTA is. And in case you haven't heard, over 70 people showed up to the Clarendon Courthouse Civic Association. And I'm sure you know what the typical <laughs> attendance is there. Uh, we already have 100 petition signatures on change.org, and we have 140 signatures on a paper petition at IOTA. So this is clearly something that people care about. And it's important that the county board is aware of this now because it's a long process, as you know, to get to the SBRC, the Planning Commission, and finally get here. But if the community makes their voices heard to you today, and if you know what their concerns are and what the values are of Clarendon, of Courthouse, then we can work together and find a compromise with the developer. Because it's not development that people are opposed to. It's development in a strategic way that we want. We want to be able to preserve the institutions of Clarendon that honor the, the commercial heritage of Clarendon's old commercial district, and also the character that these old buildings provide, such as IOTA but doing that in a way that also allows for development of the education center. So I appreciate your time and listening to the community, and I look forward to talking to you in the future. Thank you very much. All right, moving on to the, the only other person I, I would um, reference was M Melissa Manon, who came in. And, and let me just say thank you for not only your comments, but your, the way you presented your comments uh, uh, was, was uh, very appropriate and very helpful to us because this issue of redevelopment uh, in many of our neighborhoods, but in, in Clarendon in particular, there is a charm to the historic character of some of these old buildings. We know that. Sometimes it's in our control to help incentivize the retention of an older facility with the redevelopment behind it or above it, or, and sometimes it is not. Uh, it's private property rights, but it is on our radar, um, and I think it does behoove us to be aware that IOTA, um, whether it's that particular business, uh, it's the charm of those buildings. Those are all relevant things, and they are things that we all need to and our staff are aware of. So uh, I would ask that as follow-up, uh, Brian, as well, speak to you. Um, we are aware. Um, we have become aware through uh, email, social media, <laughs> all the ways that we hear about things that this is an issue. Um, IOTA is a particularly special type of uh, business in Arlington, has a wonderful following, a grassroots uh, start here in the community by Arlingtonians. So we know of its uniqueness and its, its uh, value. Um, and I think it behooves us to understand what role we do have and can have in uh, protecting something of that value to the community. So we'll let um, staff follow up. Did anyone else, Mr. Dorsey, do you want to comment on that? Just briefly echoing your comments, Mr. Fazette, but also to say that there's a, a role for the community to play, not just with working with us on the review of that particular uh, parcel in Arlington as it's proposed for redevelopment, but working directly with IOTA to make sure that it is a viable concern going forward. Uh, you know, many of the county services that Ms. Crystal talked about are certainly available to the owners of IOTA, but I think there's a role for the community to play in making sure that it's a robust business that's able to, uh, you know, pay rent, whether it's there or some other place that may be discovered that is more appropriate for it. Uh, you know, there's, there's a couple of levels of advocacy here, and I think one is in determining appropriate uses for that that parcel, which is, which is our job, but then it's making sure that IOTA as a business is as, a, as, as robust as it can be, that the following that it has translates into business success, because quite frankly, I know over the years they've struggled uh, to maintain a consistent, uh, consistent profitability, and there's a role for the community to play in all of that. So I applaud the work that you're doing to raise awareness and consciousness because so many of Arlington's great institutions are no longer institutions because folks 
neglected them uh, or just took them for granted, that they would just always be there. And, uh, you know, these are businesses that need to, to have customers. They need to have in innovative programming. They need to have patrons. And, you know, I, hopefully we can come up with a way that they can be supported, not just when uh, a crisis looms, such as the potential redevelopment of their space. So thank you.